This lesson is all about throwing shade. Well, at least when it comes to shapes. But don't be worried. Shaded area problems are actually just subtraction problems. We'll start by finding the area of a large shape and then subtract the area of another shape to figure out the shaded area. For example, if we're given this picture and asked to find the area of the shaded area, we would start by finding the area of the square and then find the area of the circle. We would then subtract the area of the circle from the area of the square to get the remaining area of the shaded portion. These shaded shapes might look tricky at first, but when you treat these as subtraction problems using shapes you know how to work with, they're not that bad. Let's apply this principle to an ACT problem. In the following figure, the square ABCD with side length 3 is inscribed in the circle centered at the point O. What is the area of the shaded region? As always, let's underline the facts, circle the key terms, and label the answer choices, which represent the area of the shaded region. We know that the area of the shaded area is the area of the circle minus the area of the square, but we don't actually need to find the area of the whole circle. We only need one-fourth of that. So the equation is one-fourth times the quantity of the area of the circle minus the area of the square. Let's start by finding the area of the circle by using the formula pi r squared. However, we don't know the radius, so let's figure that out first. It's easiest to find the diameter and divide that by 2 to get the radius. Now we have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle within the squares, and we know that our sides are 3 from the problem. If you memorized your special right triangles, you know that the side of a 45, 45, 90 triangle are x, x, and x times the square root of 2. So we know that the hypotenuse will be 3 times the square root of 2. That's our diameter. The radius is half of that, or 3 times the square root of 2 over 2. Using the formula for area of a circle, pi r squared, we can substitute 3 times the square root of 2 over 2 in for the radius. Square it and we find out that the area of our circle is 9 pi over 2. Going back to the equation for finding the shaded area, let's plug 9 pi over 2 in for the area of the circle. Now we're just missing the area of the square. The formula for the area of a square is side or s squared. s is 3, s squared is 3 squared, and the area is 9. Plugging this number back into the equation, we get 1 fourth of 9 pi over 2 minus 9. We could simplify this. But simplifying is where errors creep in, so let's input this into our calculator to find an approximate value and match it with the answer choices. We'll write 1.28 next to the answer choices and start by checking the middle answer choice. Pi is approximately 3.14. That's too big. The answer choices are usually listed from least to greatest, so let's try choice G. Plugging this into our calculator, we see that choice G matches our number. We've got our answer. Let's take a look at one more shaded area problem. However, I'm going to make this a pause and solve, so you can work the problem out on your own before we go through it together. Grab some paper and a pencil, and when I say pause, you'll pause the video and solve the problem. Come back when you're done. Here's the question. The figure below shows two circles that are both centered at point O. If the smaller circle has a circumference of 4 pi centimeters, and the radius of the larger circle is 5 centimeters longer than the radius of the smaller circle, what is the area in square centimeters of the shaded region? Okay, ready, set, pause. Welcome back. Let's go through this problem together and see if we got the same answer. Let's review and make sure you're doing everything correctly. We'll start by underlining the facts. Two circles, both centered at point O, smaller circle has a circumference of 4 pi centimeters, and radius of the larger circle is 5 centimeters longer than the radius of the smaller circle. Next, let's circle the key terms and label the answer choices. Now let's see if we can work with the things we know. The smaller circle has a circumference of 4 pi centimeters. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. If the circumference of the smaller circle is 4 pi, then 4 pi equals 2 pi r, which means the radius of the smaller circle equals 2. The radius of the larger circle is 5 centimeters longer than the radius of the smaller circle, so the radius of the larger circle is 5 plus 2, which equals 7.
That's great, but we're trying to find the area of the shaded region. As we discussed, shaded region problems are subtraction problems. The area of this shaded region will be the area of the larger circle minus the area of the smaller circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of the shaded region equals pi times the larger radius squared minus pi times the smaller radius squared. The larger radius is 7 and the smaller radius is 2, which gives us 49 pi minus 4 pi, which equals 45 pi. Answer choice D. Once you realize that these questions usually just involve finding the area of two shapes that you know well and then doing subtraction, they're less complicated than they appear to be. So dive right in.